What's going on everybody? It's ETA Prime Pack here again. It's been a little while since we've taken a look at any accessories for the Raspberry Pi 4 and there's actually a good reason. Really when it comes down to it, the Raspberry Pi 4 is a bit hard to get right now if you don't want to get scalped on it. But recently, Vil Ross released their new reveal case and I knew I had to take a look at it. Now I'm a huge fan of these desktop style cases for the Raspberry Pi, just really love the look and aesthetic of them, and I've seen a bunch online, you know, custom ones that people have 3D printed or made out of other things. But this one here is something that you can actually purchase from the Vilross site, I believe they also have this on Amazon, and it's actually a pretty good looking case. So all of the accessories are going to be in this little box here, and it does come with the tower cooler so we can overclock that Pi and not worry about thermal throttling. It's also the RGB version, but they send along a regular fan if you don't like RGB. The window is constructed of acrylic, but the rest of the case is anodized aluminum, and this does support an SSD. We've got plenty of room to mount one up top, and when it comes to the Raspberry Pi running an SSD, you will be running it over USB, so you'll need an adapter. But it looks easy enough to assemble. We've got the anodized aluminum case section here. We've got a lot of mounting hardware and our acrylic window with the cutouts for all of the ports on the Raspberry Pi from the Ethernet, USB, micro HDMI, USB Type-C, and we've even got a cutout up top so we can reach a SATA SSD with an adapter. So I will be installing a 128 gigabyte SSD in here just to show you how it all sets up inside of the case itself. But yeah, I'm actually really excited about this. Like I mentioned, it's been a while since we've taken a look at any accessories for the Raspberry Pi, so I figured we'd go ahead and put this thing together. So I'm going to be using a 4GB Raspberry Pi 4 here. Actually, this might be an 8. I'm not sure I'd have to look at the RAM chip, but I'll figure it out when we get it all assembled. There is a cutout on the bottom, so we can reach that micro SD card. But if you want, you could always run your operating system from an SSD. The Pi 4 is going to slide right down on these standoffs, and from here we now need to install that tower cooler. It does come with these thermal pads here, and remember these do have plastic on both sides, so make sure you peel that off. Now with this tower cooler, it only makes contact with the CPU, so that's the only thermal pad we'll need to put on here. But we've also got these other standoffs that the cooler's going to mount to, and in turn this is going to mount the Raspberry Pi 4 nice and firmly to the case. So I've got all the standoffs for that cooler installed. The Raspberry Pi 4 isn't going to go anywhere. We just need to set this right down, and we've got four nuts that are going to go right here. And actually, if you take a look at the instructions, there is a certain sequence in tightening these down for the cooler, but I've really never had an issue with it. It is good practice to go ahead and follow the instructions, but we're not working with a lot of wattage here, so you should be fine. And in the instructions, it shows you exactly how to plug this fan in. I've got it set up for 5 volts, but this will also work on 3.3 to be a bit quieter. But these are already super quiet, and it's enclosed. So if you're not going to be adding an SSD, we're actually done here. As you can see, we do have access to the USB, Ethernet, the HDMI, and the USB Type-C. But for this, I do want to add an SSD. It comes with all the hardware we need to mount it, and it's going to mount right up top here. Now, like I mentioned, this has to be plugged in over USB, so you'll need a SATA to USB adapter. I just picked up a cheap one on Amazon months ago, and it works out really well. And I've noticed that these standoffs that they include for the SSD don't go all the way at least into this one, but they've got these little black covers that go right over them to try to kind of cover it up, and it does look pretty good with these on it. Now I've got that SSD set up. It's just going to slide right up top. And we've got some more of these thumb screws that are going to go right in. You could always find some other screws, but this is what it comes with. So they will be standing off the top. Personally, I think they look pretty good with that silver against the black, but it's really up to you in the end. And now that I've got the SSD mounted, I can put the acrylic right on here. It does have four more thumb screws to hold this on, but I do want to check that I've got everything set up and I can plug this SSD in properly with the adapter I have. This is just a J Micron adapter, SATA to USB 3, and we'll definitely be plugging it into a USB 3 port on the Raspberry Pi 4. And for the longest time with the Pi 4, we've been able to run our whole operating system from an SSD over USB. It will be faster than a micro SD card, but for this setup here, I've actually already got a micro SD card flashed and ready to go with the latest version of Raspberry Pi OS. And once it's all finished up, it looks something like this. I love the super clean look here. Uh, we've definitely got more space than we really need for a Raspberry Pi, but it kind of sets it off and just gives you a little bit of eye candy sitting on the desk. And the way I have it set up right now is USB kind of facing me. 
That way I can check out that RGB on the fan. But one thing I'd probably want to do is flip the cooler around. That way I have that fan on the other side. Because the way I actually want this set up on my desk is the USB towards the rear of the desk. That way I get that nice aluminum with the wave shape there facing me. And I don't see all of the wires and everything plugged in. But yeah, it's really up to you. If you've been looking for a nice little tower case, then I could suggest this. It's going for around $49.99, so it is a bit expensive, but it does feel premium. I kind of wish these companies would step their game up and give us real glass. Now, having that curve with the acrylic is definitely the way to go due to the manufacturing process, but it would be nice to have a case like this with two real glass panels on each side. Even if we just had to use eight thumb screws all the way around, I'd totally be fine with it. It would just give us a real good premium feel. But that's going to wrap it up for this one. Really appreciate you watching. And if you're interested in the Vil Ross reveal case, I will leave a couple links in the description. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments below. And like always, thanks for watching.